Yo, the Purple Banditos, and welcome back to our Let's Play Pokemon Black. I'm Purple Rodri. In the last episode, we made our way here to Nat Green City and also added a new Pokemon to our team, Floatar the Pidove. In today's episode, we are actually going to be making our way into Nat Green City's gym, but before that, I actually have something very special to show you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the clip very quickly. While I was out training our Floatar, I actually bumped into a Pokemon, which you guys are able to see is a Pat Rat. It is a female level 8, but the special thing about this Pat Rat was that it's a shiny. I was just training our Pit of, it was, you know, coming up on level 17, and all of a sudden, I see this little spark, and I, I almost couldn't believe it. I stopped in shock for a second, but yes, I bumped into a shiny Pat Rat, and as you're going to be able to see, I went ahead and caught it uh, with a heel ball. It, it was almost insane to, to do this. So, like, I couldn't get, you know, I, I couldn't get it in my head that we bumped into a shiny. The odds of that are incredible. So, I was very glad that we bumped into one, you know, just training Pidov. Uh, so, I went ahead and caught it. And then I had to think of a nickname very quickly. Uh, Pat Rat is a scout Pokemon. Using food stored in cheek pouches, they can keep watch for days. They use their tails to communicate with others. Uh, so yes, I went ahead and gave our Pat Rat a nickname. Now I was thinking of something that had to do with shiny, and then something came to mind. So you'll be able to see uh, what I named our Pat Rat. I actually ended up naming it Lumi, as in luminescence, uh, you know, that, that type of thing. And with that, we can actually make our way back now uh, from that patch of grass and continue on in our adventure. Uh, I actually don't have Pat Rat in our uh, team at this moment, but we're actually going to go ahead and go get the Lumi out of the box now and continue on from here. So let me go ahead and open up the PC. As you can also see in the PC, I went ahead and deposited mittens. Uh, we won't really be needing mittens from uh, here on out. And if we do, you know, mittens is always in the box. All right, so as you can see, there is our Pat Rat level eight. Nature is sassy, ability runaway, items is none. We're going to withdraw it and welcome to the team, Lumi the Pat Rat. Uh, Pat Rat probably isn't going to be like a big part of the team, uh, you know, in battles. But Pat Rat can learn a lot of HMs, so I'm actually very excited to add it to our team. Okay, guys, now, once and for all, we are ready to enter Nat Green City's Pokemon Gym, take on its leader, Lenora, an archaeologist with backbone. So what do you say we make our way inside? Wow, whenever I look at the skeleton, I'm fascinated! Welcome, I'm Haas, the assistant director. Since you were kind enough to visit, I'll give you a tour of the museum. Alright, pretty cool. Guess we're getting a tour. This skeleton is of a Dragon-type Pokemon. There's a theory that it had an accident while it was flying around the world, and so it became a fossil. Looks like a Dragonite to me. This rock is amazing! It's a meteorite! It contains some kind of energy from space! Oh, this? It's an ordinary old stone. It was found near the desert, but other than the fact that it's old, it doesn't seem to have any value. We only display it because it's rather pretty to look at. The Pokemon Gym is just beyond here. At the end of the gym, a very strong and kind gym leader is waiting. By the way, the gym leader, Lenora, happens to be my wife. Oh, cool, so this is Lenora's husband over here. All right, pretty awesome. Well, I'm very excited to make our way inside this gym. It is our second gym, so let's go ahead and do this. A Pokemon gym where a leader waits for a challenger at the back of the museum. It has a great atmosphere, doesn't it? So, I will give this to you. And we just obtained another freshwater. It seems like these guys at the front always give us one. All trainers in this gym use normal type Pokemon. This is just between you and me. Normal type Pokemon are weak against fighting type Pokemon. Around here, fighting type Pokemon show up around Pinwool Forest. Now, I will explain about the gym itself. In this Pokemon gym, if you answer questions hidden in books, you can move forward. For your information, the first book is Nice to Meet You, Pokemon. If you don't know where the book is, please ask anyone. All trainers in this gym. Okay, guys. So it looks like we are going to have to answer some questions in order to proceed further. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Also, as you guys can see, Flotar is level 18 now. So I'm going to go ahead and put him in front. Roran is still 16 for now. But I'm kind of excited to get Floater up in there. So let's go ahead and take on our first challenger inside of this gym.
And now we can proceed on and look for these books. Where could these books be? That is the question, my friends. This is the bookshelf for children's books. Sweets for Pokemon. Do you want to read this book? Sure. It describes delicious sweets made by heating berries in a pot. They're a sweet called Poffins. Made from... Isn't that the only thing people feed Pokemon? This is not the book we're looking for. Maybe it's this one. Uh, children's books. Nice to meet you, Pokemon. Yes, this is it. It's a fairy tale about a little boy who met a Pokemon for the first time in his life. He is with a small brown Pokemon. A small brown Pokemon. There's a memo between the pages. Pokemon trainers, I am the gym leader Lenora. I hid four memos in this library. Each of them has a question. Can you solve the questions and come find me? Now this is the first question. What is the first Pokemon you met in this gym? The hint is on a bookshelf in the middle row. Now try to find it. Um, I actually pretty sure it was a pat rat. Um, is there any way we can answer it? Uh, I don't think we will be able to answer it without actually finding the memos first. So let's go ahead and look for the memo. Uh, it said uh, it was in the middle shelf somewhere. So maybe it is here? Let's check this one for Pokemon the biology of Pat Rat. Yes, so it's totally gonna be Pat Rat. Uh, and I'm guessing that's where the other memo is gonna be. Yes, as I thought that question was easy. Well, this is the second question. Flame burns inside its body and it gives off smoke from its head while it runs. What is this book? The hint is somebody may be reading it. Who could be reading that book? Uh, I don't see that little girl holding a book. Is this guy reading it? Ah, oh, it must be this dude. Let's talk to him. Here, Marcy! Oh, did you find the memo and come here to look for this book? What does the memo say? Flame burns inside its body and it gives off smoke from its head while it runs. I'm reading a book called The Structure of a Locomotive. Is this book the correct answer? Yeah, it totally is. Oh, that is correct. Flame burns inside its body. That's exactly how locomotive looks. Okay, so it wasn't a Pokemon. It was the locomotive. It would be great for my research if we got a Pokemon battle. Okay, here we go. I guess this is the second guy we have to battle. We gained 351, we have grown to level 17, which is awesome. Rowan wants to learn the move Razor Shell. Yeah, let's go ahead and forget a move for that. I I'm not sure what Razor Shell does, but uh, let me see. Let me go ahead and click it. It says, it's a physical attack. The user cuts its target with sharp shells. All right, cool. So I'm actually going to forget Leer for it. So yes, I'm going to forget Tail Whip. Uh, I was trying to say Tail Whip for it. One, two, and doo -doo. All right, so there we go. We learned Razor Shell. Pretty sweet, we gained some XP, we defeated scientist Tommy. I've never known anyone so powerful. We got 816 for winning. And with that, it also looks like our Roran is evolving. Oh, I've been waiting for this for a while. I'm actually very excited for this. Ah, yes, before our second battle, Roran is, what the heck is happening there? You're like turning into a little, I don't even know what to call them, crystallized glowing machines? Don't know what to say. And holy crap, congratulations! Our Roran evolved into Dewat. Very sweet. That is really exciting. Right before the second gym battle. Return a book to a shelf after reading. This is a rule when you read a book. Okay, so let's go ahead and read this book now. Uh, this bookshelf's for general studies, the structure of a locomotive. Let's go ahead and read it. A flames burn inside its body and it gives off smoke from its head while it runs by using steam power. There's a memo on the back. It's impressive you found this place. That's what I'd expect from a challenger like you. Well, this is the third question. If you heat it up in a pot, it'll be delicious. What is this? The hint is on a bookshelf closer to the entrance than here. And, oh, I'm pretty sure this was the book we haven't read yet. Children's books. Sweets for Pokemon. Yes, this must be it. It is the berries. It is the poffins. And this has to be the correct one. Uh, did you manage to get here without being tricked? Now, this is the last question. From this bookshelf, move, move two backward. Move one to the left. Move two, okay, oh man, okay. Move two backward. Move two, move Move one to the left. Move two forward. Move one to the right and move one backward. Now where is it? The hint is find it by yourself. Okay, 
Um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be this little girl over here, but before we talk to her, I am gonna go ahead and heal up our Pokemon, uh, because this gym is really hard. I did not think we were gonna have this much difficulty with it, but guess what? It is going to be a lot more difficult than I thought, and I'm actually gonna just go ahead and talk to this good old girl. I'm wondering, did you see the last memo and come to me? Okay, I'll give you the last question. Can you challenge the gym leader or you win against me? Uh, yes, we can. Tee, that is correct. Well, here we go, trainer. This is the last battle before we take on the gym leader. Okay, I don't know why I'm doing a girl voice. The biology of Tepic. Yes, let's read this book. It describes the biology of Tepic. Flame burns inside its body. It gives off flame from its nostrils. Uh, when it's not well, it can give off holy smoke. There's a memo between the pages. You managed to get here. Well done. You seem to have wisdom as well as strength. I look forward to our battle. Gym leader Lenora. Click. There's a switch under the book. Could we not have come to this book first? Like, seriously? Dudes, we couldn't just, you know, just come over here. Just click the book. You had to make it this difficult, Lenora. Really? Okay, a hidden staircase has appeared. Before we go down this, I'm gonna go heal up our Pokemon at the Pokemon Center, and I'll be back with you guys in two seconds. All right, guys, so I've gone ahead and healed up our Pokemon. I have also gone ahead and leveled up Roarin to 19 because he was very close to leveling. So I thought, you know, we, we might as well do that before the second gym battle. So now we have both Roarin and Floater at level 19. And I have actually done one more thing which you guys suggested to me. You told me to give both those Pokemon Chesto Berries, which we have gotten along our journey. The Chesto Berries will awaken our Pokemon if we ever get put to sleep. And you told me to look out for that uh, with Lenora. So let's go ahead, make our way downstairs. We are very prepared for this battle. And I am excited to do this. There's Lenora, the second gym leader. So let's go ahead and talk to her. Welcome! The director of the Nat Cream Museum and the Nat Cream Gym's leader is me, Lenora! Well then, Challenger, I'm going to research how you battle with the Pokemon you've so lovingly raised! Here we go! Rodri versus Lenora! The normal type gym leader, the Nat Cream City gym leader! Woo! Here we go! We are challenged by leader Lenora, who has two Pokemon. Lenora is going to send out Hurtier, and I am going to go ahead and send out Roarin. The battle is on its way. Let's go ahead and do this. Hurtier is level 18, and its Intimidate is going to cut our attack. That is not good for us. We did learn a new move, though, which is Razor Shell, which I'm sure is going to come in very handy for us. Let's go for the Razor Shell. Ooh, our attack really did get lowered. I can, I can feel her already. Now with that move, I'm starting to see what kind of trainer you are. Great, let's follow up with another Razor Shell. You know, our Razor Shell did lower its defense, so hopefully that'll help us out a little bit. It lowered it even more, which is great. Herdier's going for the takedown, though, which did quite a bit of damage. And I'm guessing we have a Super Potion coming up from Lenora. I was correct. These battles are getting a lot harder, so you have to expect these sort of things. All right, let's go for the Razor Shell, then. I should probably heal myself up after this. We are just lowering this little puppy's defense. I am actually going to go ahead and... Ooh, I don't know. Should I heal up first or should I just go for the attack? You know what? I am just going to go for the razor shell one more time. Hopefully that takes it down. We are faster than a herdier, which is a little bit surprising. And with that, we've took down the level 18 herdier. Great. Okay. Woo, we can do this, guys. Next up is Whatjog. I am actually going to switch out Pokemon. This is the Pokemon you guys told me to watch out for. I'm going to send out Lumi so I can heal up Roran, and then we'll switch back uh, between Roran and Floater and see which one of these guys is going to be able to take it down. Lumi, our little shiny pat rat. Pretty cool. Level 8. Don't think we'll do a whole lot, though. Uh, it looks like Lenora is really heated up, too. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon, then. I'm going to go with the Super Potion on Roran. Probably one of the best strategies we can do here is uh, use those Super Potions. Watchog's going to go for the Retaliate. Uh, that is a very strong move. You guys warned me of that, and that actually did take us down. I'm going to send out 
floater and let's hope that this battle goes in our favor I'm nervous for it, but we'll see how this goes. Okay, I am going to go for the air cutter and we'll see how much damage that does. Watchhog's going for the retaliate. Let's hope that doesn't take us down. And wow, okay, cool. We tanked it. Okay, that is not bad at all for us. Uh, ooh, we took some damage there. I think I'm going to go for a gust. We'll see how much the gust does. Watchhog's going for another retaliate. Hopefully, we can tank this one. With 4 HP, we have. Great, let's just keep pounding at it and then hopefully when Roran does come out which I'm guessing will happen Roran will be able to handle it retaliate once again I guess our roost didn't get off in time and with that loader has fainted and it is time for Roran to shine let's go ahead and do this Roran you are our starter it is your time to show us what you have I'm gonna go for the razor shell Watchog is going for the hypnosis we avoided the attack which is great that's really gonna help us out Watchog also avoided our attack. I guess we just canceled each other out there. Watchog is going for the retaliate. Oh, come on. Okay, we tanked it. We did tank it. That is good for us. And it avoided our attack again. Are you serious? How is it avoiding our attacks like this? Watchog is going for the hypnosis. We do have our Chesto Berry, though. So hopefully our Chesto Berry... Uh, we'll bring us back into this. There we go. We woke up. Let's go for the razor shell now. Will we be able to take it down? Okay, that did quite a lot of damage. I am just going to keep throwing out the razor shell. Uh, Watchhog is going for another freaking hypnosis. Are you serious right now? Like, what can I do to that? There is nothing I can do to that. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and heal myself up. And just hope that... Uh, we can take it out uh, here in the next hit. Well, we're about to find out what's going on here. Hopefully, Watchhog does something dumb. It's going for a crunch. Okay. Oh, uh, wow! A crit! If everything could go against us, it actually is. Let's go ahead and use the Super Potion then. All right, that healed us back up. Watchhog is going for another crunch. Please just let me tank it. Okay, I did. Uh, we do have our Chesto Berry. I think we have one left. Chesto Berry. Great. We have one Chesto Berry left. Let's go ahead and awaken Roran. How many Hypnosis can this Watchog use in a row? Seriously. Another Crunch. Has us down to 10 HP. All I can do right now is just keep healing myself and hope that, you know, my opportunity arises and that I can follow up. We're about to find out. Hopefully, if a really crappy Crunch comes out here, we can really, like, you know, tank it out. Alright, here we go. Let's hope that it all goes well. I'm gonna go for the Razor Shell. Watchog is going for another hypnosis. You have got to be kidding me right now. I can't do anything here. We're about to run out of potions. I'm just going to keep spinning Razor Shell. And I hope that we wake up this turn and are able to counter. We did. Please, Warren, use it. All right. Come on. We need a crit or something. Did we do it? Yes! We took down Watchog. Okay, great. We gained 928 XP. We have grown to level 20. We want to learn the move Fury Cutter. You know what? Yeah, let's forget a move. Why not? Let's forget Tackle, because that hasn't barely been helping us. So we went ahead and forgot Tackle, and with that, we have learned Fury Cutter, which is awesome. We defeated Leader Lenora. My theory about you was correct. You're more than just talented. You're motivated. So we got 2,400 for winning. Your fighting style is so enchanting. It is charming. You are a Pokemon trainer worthy of receiving this basic badge. And with that, guys, we have received the basic badge. That is the second out of eight badges here in the Unova region. Six more to go. So we received the basic badge from Lenora. If you have two badges, trade a Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you. Here, I also want you to have this TM. We obtained TM67 Retaliate, which was very, very strong. Let me know if we should teach that to one of our Pokemon. Retaliate does a lot more damage if an ally fainted the turn before you use it. If you master the timing, you can defeat even strong opponents. Dear! Dear, uh, come quickly! Team Plasma is threatening to steal some bones! What? Well, what's going on? Rodri, you come too! Okay guys, so it looks like Team Plasma is threatening us by stealing some stuff. So in the next episode, we will continue right here from this point. So let me know if you guys have some tips on the events coming up. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.